Okay, seated back mount defense. Number one, make sure that you're defending with your hands, with your elbows, so your partner is not easily able to get to your uh, to your neck for the strangle or for a punch, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to, to control one of his wrists on one side like this. And then I'm gonna fall towards that arm. That's kind of opposite of what a lot of you guys do, but it's gonna be safer for us in the long run, okay? When I fall to that side, I'm gonna keep my weight on his arm right here. So my head is heavy. I'm pushing off my left leg to make it very difficult for him to lift this arm up to get free. The other thing I'm doing is I'm bringing my leg to my hand so that he can't escape this leg. That's the most important thing here. I don't want him to be able to, to, to get out of the back mount position right now and, and go to the mount position, okay? So I'm gonna hold my leg right here. This is where I'm gonna maintain for a second to make sure that I'm safe. Then when I'm ready to go, I'm gonna straighten this leg and as I begin to slide off his leg, I'm gonna control his far knee right here. As I control that far knee, I'm gonna leave my elbow over his body. So my left elbow, the one that's controlling his wrist, is over his body. Once I get free of that leg, I'm gonna bridge right up on top of him to get free. 